From coast to coast, bitter cold is gripping the country. Dozens of vehicles were stranded on the New York State Thruway Tuesday as drivers battled whiteout conditions. As temperatures in Lancaster plummeted to around 15 degrees, the snowy roads turned slick. At nearby Buffalo Niagara Airport, more whiteout conditions. Video shows a plane barely visible while trying to taxi. Indianapolis Tuesday tied a 131-year record low of minus 12 degrees. In New York City, dozens of icicles formed on power lines and fire escapes as firefighters battled flames in 13-degree temperatures. It was actually warmer Tuesday in Anchorage, Alaska than in New York City and in Chicago, where it has been more than a week since temperatures reached at least 20 degrees. Yeah. Fucking trumpets. A record-breaking cold snap is causing chaos across parts of the US and Canada. As the severe weather continues, temperatures are expected to fall below 30 degrees Celsius in some areas over the weekend. In Nova Scotia, high winds have left more than 100,000 people without power. In New England, giant waves and freezing floodwaters have battered the coastline. And in Boston, an emergency shelter has been forced to stretch its resources even further to offer more beds to homeless people in the area. The bone-chilling weather is pushing down into the southern states, and it's not just humans who are suffering as a result of the extreme weather conditions. In Florida, iguanas have been falling out of trees unconscious after becoming cold stunned. Those who land somewhere safe thaw out unharmed, but others have been less lucky, falling onto roads and Florida's Wildlife Conservation Commission has also been rescuing stunned turtles from the freezing waters off the coast of the St. Joseph Peninsula.
roads in Australia melt as record temperatures hit the outback. 90 fires were burning in the state of New South Wales, which have destroyed more than 200,000 acres of land, with tens of thousands of livestock being lost. With records being broken in the outback town of Birdsville, where the temperature soared to 48 degrees Celsius.
This is the scene inside the Indonesian Stock Exchange, just moments after a floor collapse injured at least 70 people. Many of them are university students who were pinned under slabs of concrete. Unprecedented downpours meant flash flooding on several roads and also downed power lines. Ex-Cyclone Joy bringing 96 millimetres of rain to Perth in just 24 hours, 10 times what usually falls for the whole month of January, the most in 18 years. Yeah, I Staff's been dealing with a massive influx of flu patients, so that's why they have this overflow tent. Sharp Hospital has verified this information. This comes as the county is dealing with a record number of cases. Today, new numbers were released. There have been more than 3,800 cases this season. tall, five foot five, <laughs> and it is to my tummy. The Swiss ski resort of Zermatt is once again cut off from the world because of heavy snowfall. Villages across the area have been heavily affected, with 28 homes having to be evacuated in Zinal. With about 9,000 holiday guests in the town, long queues built up to take the helicopter shuttle, the only option left to get home, as the roads and railway lines were closed due to the danger of avalanches.
Now, this sinkhole measures 30 feet by 30 feet, and officials are concerned it could be growing. Crews are working to repair it. No one was hurt. Stranded restaurants and submerged bridges. As the River Seine in Paris continues to rise, its pedestrianised banks have disappeared. Usually bustling with walkers and cyclists, they're now a no-go zone and the city is on flood alert. Капец, даже кошка не успела в туалет сходить. Да, здорово, зайца. А? Овощина. The Midwest gets hammered by a powerful winter storm. Heavy snow and strong winds pushed across the region Monday. Conditions were so bad in Minneapolis, the airport briefly closed all of its runways for cleaning. Twice. It was a much more dour situation on Midwest roads. Whiteout conditions led to multiple shutdowns. This was the scene in Burrsford, South Dakota. Howling winds just pushed the snow from one road to another, but it was Northwest Iowa that really saw the worst of the storm. More than a foot of snow fell near the South Dakota border.
Great. 